was a grafting graveyard. graveyard down the street and they were talking talking about how scared <coughs> it was. The next chapter of book club is a weekly meeting of sorts um, where the folks I serve and other people in the community with developmental disabilities can get together in a public setting and read a book. But we also spend a lot of time sort of catching up on our weeks and building friendships and um, getting to know one another. So it's been great. My daughter only ever gets the fruity candies when she goes trick-or-treating and I have to talk to her every year and say, you need to get some chocolate for your mother. So <laughs> she, does. she picks out Skittles and Starburst and Tell me what you like about your reading club. I like to read with people and I like the book. What book were you guys reading today? I was reading Halloween. Yeah, what'd you think of the story? I loved it. Really? We meet every Tuesday at 10 in the periodicals area at Tuckahoe, which is an open area. Um, we pull tables together and we sit around the table and we just read together. His left hand was missing and it was placed, and in its place he wore a hook. Let's roll up the windows and lock the door, said Sarah. That's a good idea, said Donald. Usually the leader of the group is a library staff member and then I come to sort of assist the folks I bring. We have a wonderful partnership with the Hermitage Enterprises. They come and they uh, transport members to our Next Chapter Book Club and they provide a facilitator. Um, often there are one or more members that need a little more assistance and the librarian will sit with one and then the facilitator from Hermitage will sit with another. What brings bring you out so me? You know a lot of times when you know we anticipate something is hard uh, you know it makes us nervous and, and reluctant to participate but I think after the first meeting, um, our folks see that it really doesn't matter your skill level. Nobody's judging you. No, you, you can participate in all aspects of the club. When you're reading, do you feel like it's okay to make mistakes? That people yes. can be nice to you? Yeah. Is it, is it hard to read these stories for you? No. Really? Mm-hmm. Really? What happens when you get stuck on a word? Um, I love that word. And do they help you with figuring out how to say the word? Yes. Oh, and how does it feel when you get that word? It's good. Sometimes we use a technique called mirroring with uh, folks who either are unsure of how to pronounce a word or um, don't have really strong reading skills. And what that means is uh, we just quietly say the word to them and then they repeat back. And the really cool thing is sometimes when you get members going, they just take off and they don't need you anymore. I mean, you start the word and, and they've just got it. She hitched him to a fence. fence, thank you, car, and went in. While she was gone, the farm hand rumbled against the fence until the thrift, brittle, bridle, bridle comes off and he turned back into a human being. I would say if I had to pick a main purpose of the Next Chapter Book Club, it would be to socialize. Um, we do read uh, a lot, most of, most of the time, but um, we're really comfortable with each other by the time we do read, so that a lot of times we'll stop and we'll sort of break and talk about um, you know, how the book uh, reaches us on a personal level, and uh, so really, ultimately, um, you know, we're just building friendships the whole time, and the book is sort of a vehicle. Yeah. And Virginia, tell me, what, what do you like about coming to the, to the book club? Well, I like the fact that it lets people know how special, I mean, how, um, how smart I am because of my disability. Mm -hmm. you, you, do you like coming here to read? Yeah. It's nice to feel like uh, you're a part of the community when, when you're an individual. Uh, with developmental disabilities because oftentimes, you know, they grew up in closed classrooms, so, you know, they, they don't have 
as much interaction with different types of people. So, you know, it's good to just be a regular person in a regular community setting and, you know, doing something you enjoy. Next Chapter Book Club is part of a national program that's been in existence for at least, I think, 18 years. And there are chapters all over uh, the country. In the charter that we sign with the Next Chapter group, that is one of the absolute things that we have to do. We have to have them in public, not closed away, so that they feel like they're, they're part of the community. And we've had community members come up and say how much they enjoy hearing us read. The last club did Charlotte's Web, and a woman said she was done with her work, but she wanted to sit and listen because she just loved the story so much. So that was really, that was wonderful. And what advice would you give somebody? Could you tell somebody that they, they should come and think this is fun? They should come, come read books, meet new people. Uh, don't be afraid to try new things. Yeah. So get out of your comfort zone and just go hang out with friends just like you would at home and stuff like that. They always put a smile on my face. They're um, always happy to see us. They're always happy to see each other. Um, it's so positive.